total atomic annihilation, the rebuilding of this great nation of ours may fall to you. That's why we at vault -Tech have prepared these educational materials for you to better understand the seven defining attributes that make you special. Our topic today is endurance. We will all be faced with many new and unfamiliar health risks, such as infection, sudden loss of limb, and above all, harmful radiation. Fortunately, your formidable endurance has turned your body into a hardworking machine that can resist the harmful effects of radiation and physical violence. Like any machine, then, your body must be well-maintained to stay in tip-top shape. While average Joes will survive on old packaged standbys, your iron-clad insides will allow you to seek fresh meat. Radiation poisoning may have enlarged your favorite meals. This means more healthful nutrition for you. Take caution not to bite off more than you can chew. Endurance can also provide new options for food, some of which can be an acquired taste. Gone are the days of exercising for fun. Instead, you will need to combine athletics with crucial survival activities. The greater your endurance, the further you can go. Just be certain to be mindful of others. Build your endurance, and soon you will find ways that it improves your life above ground. You've added confidence in the swimming pool, can stronger, more resilient limbs to keep the flesh of your fellow man can provide. Regularly study your Vault Tech provided materials to prepare for survival. And to answer the question, do you know what makes you special? Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to another wonderful day of Charlotte Wars Adventure and Fallout 4. So, it's a treat today. You're going to get some post commentary here because I ran into some technical issues. Of course, my headset was muted, and yeah, here we are. So, basically, we're continuing our journey <clears throat> where we left off, and basically. We're just going to figure out what to do. I think we're going to go on in a little bit of an exploration trip. And yeah. And so enjoy the footage. Kind of watch. Uh, man, I was talking during all this stuff. And, and yeah. Post commentary. What can I say? I was just kind of looking at my gear here. Just seeing what's up. You Seeing where our next location was. And it's basically Ten Pines Bluff. And so yeah. So off we go to go towards Ten Pine Bluffs. And I figured let's go to Concord and do some exploration. So we'll kind of walk down the path. And I'm kind of just, just double checking my weapons there. My favorite of weapons. We have the pistol, the the shotgun, the laser the rifle, the baton, the stim pack, the grenades. So we're all kind of set for, for combat. Just taking a drink of my beer here. And yeah, and then here we go. We're going to progress further. And kind of look at the map just to make sure we are going where we're going and I remember that we leveled up so now I want to pump a point to attack dog here just because then you know the, the, the attack dog gets more useful and then there's a noise that happens which is in the the animation there which is cool <laughs> okay okay and um, I'm not sure what I'm talking about exactly, but I'm talking about just it's kind of how you can look through this system here so you know what to upgrade. And then uh, you can tell I'm kind of changing to the more advanced you know, stars, and then off we go. We carry on, and I figure let's go this way because, you know, it's towards our goal. Now there's combat mode, but then I don't see where the creature is. I kind of push my VATS button, and I don't know where it is or find it so we just carry on here and then there's this house to explore here so I figure let's hit these houses or whatever we can 
but just to see if there's any kind of random crap. I'll kind of jump up in there. Let's kind of take a quick peek through here. Bang. I apologize for the quality of the video. You know, I try to... I'm trying to make these these videos have the best quality possible, but just for whatever reason with my laptop and my my computer here and w with what I, I play on, unfortunately this is the best I can do, I think. Uh, right now I'm playing this in 1280 by 720 in full screen mode and as well it's then converting it to the 1920 by 1080 so that way then when I edit it it turns into the larger format with kind of like the lower quality so hopefully that will work I just saw we I get the full screen experience while playing and then here I figure we can explore down this way a little bit Concord's really not that many like buildings that you can access and here we go we access this building the workhouse okay here we are kind of like a weird place it's like a, a structure that's falling apart on itself all the floors are are broken but then I figure we just go up the stairs here and see what this place beholds kind of switch to my melee because I'm not too sure what's going on because you never know in these places so we just keep going kind of neat place like just how just the interior levels, I ah oh, man, Fallout 4. That's all I gotta say. It's just Fallout 4, <laughs> Fallout 3, and you do Vegas. I just love this style. I'm just exploring and you're looking for stuff and kind of like looting. And you know, you everything has a purpose. <clears throat> you know, everything is worth something. And look, I found you safe. Woo! And then we can unlock it, which is awesome. Ah, there we go. Bang. There's lots of safes in this game from what I've noticed so far. So that lock picking definitely is is a must. <laughs> is a must. Uh, let's see here what's going on. I kind of think about getting to that one place down below there, the one level down, but then I just say to heck with it. Because you can always come back to these places, right? Now we're going to go on the roof here. And here we are on the roof. Just kind of looking around, it's just like, ooh, look at the pretty outside. <laughs> and then we, and then I figure, well, yeah, okay, that's kind of silly, just a lookout point. Lots of places to explore to, though. Now we are back inside, and down the, the stairs we go. Yeah, I usually edit out kind of like the, the cuts here in you know, through the doorways and all that stuff because, well, it saves a few seconds here and there, right? Because it takes about 10, 15 seconds in between each page or each each section to load. So, yeah. Or somewhere like that. And then here we kind of explore this area and I noticed this hole. I noticed that last time. So I kind of dumped down in there, but then I realized, I don't know, I don't really want to go down in here yet. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't like confined spaces too much. In this sense, just, uh, I don't know. And especially in this game, because you don't know what you're going to find down there. <laughs> in real life, it's a different story. And, you know, like an animal or something like that you can find down there, which is no big deal. But, yeah. Then we're just kind of just exploring around. And then I figure, hey, let's go in here. Let's see if there's anything in here special, right? Because this is where they were fighting and whatnot. Oh, look at that. I found a med kit. Or like a first aid box. And then, and then up here we can kind of go up here. And there's a wall safe, really which is strong. expert. And I can't open that yet, unfortunately. Not sure why I jump or, or change the, the view, but I think I was trying to get into my pit boy here. Just kind of checking on stuff. Okay, and then I figure out, well, let's grab some more stuff. And uh, you, here you'll notice the tool case. Well, I completely forgot to loot the tool case in a location that we're coming up to, and which I'll show you on, on that stuff. And then here, what we're doing is we are, I'm figuring, oh yeah, shoot, we should go back and put the minigun away, because that's heavy. And 
you know, scrap these items here that we have, and yeah. You know, we have a lot of items that kind of just like weigh us down. So we have 171 out of 290, which is not too bad. Here I'm just kind of looking at the guns that I picked up, and unfortunately, yeah, what I have is is of course better, and I think it's it is that way to be that way. You know, even with the modded, like with the modding stuff, you know, I figure when we level next, we'll get the gun nut and, and upgrade our our weapons here, which would be kind of neat. You know, upgrade the shotgun and stuff like that as well as we should have some components that we picked up and so yeah so here we go and i think we carry on out of here i figure we'll come back we'll we'll come back to this place to loot because that's the cool thing with follow is you can always come back yeah I'm just kind of walking exploring and we're going to move on to our next location basically just kind of making sure I know where I'm going. I'm trying to get to that point. Alright, to Ten Pines Bluff. And of course we get sidetracked. and There's all this kinds of fun stuff that happens. Kind of look at the houses here. and you know, I know that they're not really lootable. So let me just keep going following this road which then kind of curves up and I'm like huh I don't want to go up there I want to keep going but the road ends why is that so then we just kind of run up this way a bit and then it's like well no I don't want to go that way and then I notice that there's no road on the map and I'm like whoa okay so we just gotta go down more <clears throat> so south more I guess I should say not down more <laughs> but you knew what I meant so yeah, so here we go. Find the road there. <clears throat> that hooks into this road here. And then we follow it on. All these houses. Oh, and I know there's a person down there. I turn on my bats just to see if they're enemy or not. And they're not. Surprises me. It's like, whoa, there's someone down here. But you'll see in a moment here with the conversation what happens. <clears throat> yes. Yeah. We're very limited conversation. Charlie doesn't even talk. It's like it's scripted. Dad, can we leave a light on tonight? I like sleeping with the light on. Sure thing, baby. I'll watch over you while you sleep. Interesting. Don't want to know if there's some raiders that come by and take care of them. It's like, well, it's not safe right here, folks. So, yeah, so we kind of just doing some looting here, just kind of looking. And I notice these dead bodies, and it's like, huh, that's interesting. Let's take all their stuff. Because all their stuff is useful, right? It's like cloth, it's, it could be like other components that we might need. So, yeah. And then we just basically dump everything into the workshop. And the workshop... You know, uses the materials as you need it or any of the workbenches within the workshop right now we carry on and we're gonna loot this here and see what this is see if there's anything good in here kind of look and then it's like oh look at that another first aid kit which has some, good, some goodies in it and we carry on forward kind of look where we are and just kind of see how far we've gone, and, and then I kind of look at the map, and go, oh, oh, well, the map's not that big. Then I scroll down, and I realize, ah, oh, actually, the map is very big. <laughs> so, it's just, it's big, but not really, right? And that's kind of what I was explaining here. It's a typical Fallout map, right? You might be a little bit larger, but I'm thinking it's about the same size. If anything, the New Vegas one might have been a little bit larger. But, again, you know, these games are designed to to use the space very well. So, everything's like tucked away and, you know, 
you just walk a little distance you've actually gone quite far but the reality is is we can run back along the road and be back in the sanctuary in no time and here we are in thicket excavations what an interesting name i thought it's like oh look there's a person here cool let me kind of you run over here and i figure hey let's loot inside here pick up some stuff like the the cans and I figure we'll use that stuff. We'll just break it down into ceramics, right? Which we need. We need for for, for crafting. So I had Klaus. You mentioned that the crafting system is is compli is complicated in this game. Uh, yeah, I can kind of see where he's coming from, but same note, it's Fallout, right? And yeah, crafting systems are crafting systems and. Uh, what I find with this system is, 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 as long as you have all the materials, everything should operate just fine. So, yeah. So here I'm kind of just exploring, just like, wow, look at this cool place, right? Just kind of like, uh, like a big mine the area here. And then, uh, okay, there he is. So then I want to talk to him to see what's going on. Unless you're gonna pitch in here, keep a distance. Yeah. And then, uh, you know, I was kind of hoping for more dialogue, but then that's it. You know, there's no questions, nothing like that. So, it's like, well, huh, I wonder how we're going to figure this place out. Look at all this water here. And then I kind of wonder, hmm, I wonder if it can be drained out. Because in other fallouts, you could do things like that. So, kind of just look around here. Go back into my pit boy. Okay, it's like, yay, what's this? Looks like a mining kind of symbol. And I'm just kind of thinking, I'm walking over here just to see if the button works. And it's like, whoa, stuff is coming up. I was just shocked because it's like, well, there's water down here. So where is it coming from? It looks like it's coming up, but I wasn't sure. But obviously this is a very you know, deep cave system or tunnel or whatever you want to call it and there we go I wonder if you can use your power armor like you take your power armor go down to the basement the bottom of this and maybe you have to kill like a crab or something here we're opening up a box that I found Sweet. bang in we go we still get experience for it so that's pretty cool and I'm thinking yeah there has to be a way of draining this Okay, and so now we're gonna walk over here. This is where my dog he finds something, and I'm thinking, what the hell? What are you finding? And I'm just trying to find it, and I don't see anything. And I'm like, well, that's silly, you dog, you dog meat. Yeah, and then I just you try and see if I can find it. There's just this stuff in here, like the the ta you your taboo tattoos. And, Kind of more lockable, unlockable stuff. Excuse me. Whew. Excuse my yawn. Dang it. That sucks. <laughs> With commentary, you can't really you rec um, cut stuff out like that. Yeah, I'm not sure why he did that. And so I'm just kind of grabbing everything. And I'm like, off I go. I'm not sure what you're looking for, buddy. Yeah, maybe we'll come back. <laughs> and then I figure let's go up into this shack up here. Um, I don't, don't see anything of importance there. Here we go. Just kind of check out some points here. Or points. What am I saying? Points. You know, check out some cabinets. Lockers. Perfect. That's it. Now you might have heard a beep in the background. Hopefully that didn't come through. But it might have. It might have. <laughs> Now here we're just gonna be like, huh, maybe I should use the computer terminal. Just to see if we can get the information that we need and all that fun stuff. So I figure that information is useless and then, so then there's a hollow tape. And I'm like, oh, what's this? And uh, it looks like journals. Looks like I can inject it too. It's just sell these journal. So it's at the bottom there, you can see it. 
kind of just reading through it just to see you know, what each of these are because I'm I'm debating you know, whether or not or I'm just trying to discover why we'd want to help this guy why we want to try and help his problem and then we kind of learned that there's potentially something crawling around inside there down in the water and yeah and I'm like ah okay so maybe we'll have to kill that and the problem will solve itself maybe the water will start to drain uh, all that kind of fun stuff right so it's definitely something to come back to uh, just something to to try and accomplish and see it's, it's one of those side quests in, in Fallout 4 which are just amazing see and I completely missed the toolbox that was sitting beside the excuse me the computer there yeah, so now here we go. We're going to carry on along the road there. Can I cross the water here to see if it's radiated? It's not. I'm trying to drink the water, but you know it doesn't let me. So then we just carry on. Kind of make our way back to the road here. And then we'll follow it. Okay, I'm just kind of like enjoying the scenery and enjoying us traveling and going to our next destination. This commentary stuff is challenging, man. Because as I play, I'm I'm talking about the game and I'm talking about stuff. And now I'm kind of trying to remember what I was talking about in these different parts. And yeah, it's a bit tricky, <laughs> a bit tricky. I'm just kind of looking where we're going. And, kind of just figure out oh, I wonder how we're going to make our way there and I see all that stuff there and I'm like ah oh, crap that's going to be hard to navigate and I see this road and I'm like well this is inviting let's just follow it up and up we go and I say like, oh cool that's a cute little car a little vehicle can I go up here and then we kind of notice that deer and I was like oh look I want to get that there'll be some meat there so we don't want to pass up the deer, right? So let's, let's shoot that, because I don't know if that stuff respawns or not. I'm not sure if there is respawning of anything in this game. Because it's Fallout, right? And I know there was some instances of stuff that spawned randomly in Fallout 3 and even in New Vegas, right? I haven't witnessed anything in Fallout 4 yet, because I haven't really played the game long enough. And so here we're just kind of going after the deer for the meat, because the meat is very important. And I'm kind of noticing some frame rate issues there. It kind of froze a bit. I just don't know how to improve this, right? Other than you getting a better computer, um, kind of like a desktop with multiple hard drives and, and uh, you know, like a fast processor, and like tons and tons of RAM. Uh, here we go. Go shoot the damn thing. Bang! I'm like, yay, there's meat. So then we kind of move up. Gonna loot the thing. A ladle, I'm thinking, why is there a ladle on here? But, oh yeah, yeah. There's a bug here, and I, I noticed there's a fire there from something. Bang! Man, that gun I have is good. So now, I kind of want to loot the thing. I notice that there's like gunfire. Yay, we can loot that tin can on that thing. I'm thinking, what? They eat metal? <laughs> so then I kind of want to follow along the road just to see what's going on up there. There's a raider there. I'm not sure what they're fighting or what they're shooting at. So I'm kind of confused at it myself. Unless it's just a random spawn of them, right? And there's like explosions. And I'm thinking, whoa, what's going on here? So then I kind of run up and I start to shoot. And then he moves away. Just kind of try and pick them off here. I'm thinking, what is this place? This place is cool. <coughs> Excuse me, I apologize for the cough. And I'm like, what? What's hitting me? And I notice it's the mole rat there. 
So yeah, the dog, I think, is able to take care of it. Bang. Yeah. Watching this back and kind of getting crappy frame rates even watching this back. And I don't know, I apologize, I apologize. So now, we're moving forward here. And we're kind of like just taking down some stuff and taking down this guy and then I'm like yay we killed everyone now we off we go to you do a little bit of looting here so some mongrel beats and oh cool USAF satellite station Olivia I'm like that's cool this is a cool place so you know then I think about well man I should call this pl the title of the episode this you know the USAF satellite station <laughs> That's the exact probably means what? United States Air Force? So. Which means it's old. <laughs> and I'm just kind of looking around, making sure I've looted everything. Loot, loot, loot. And then I'm thinking, hmm, I wonder what's here. Let's go take a quick peek. And then I see the corpse here so we can loot it and I see this whole setup here I see another corpse here that's blown up interesting the mole rats they were fighting the mole rats <laughs> and there's a guy up here that we can loot and take all this stuff and I figure hmm what's up here if I was out here would I be living out here uh, looks like there's some stuff in here. So I kind of doing a little bit of a looting spree and just kind of picking up the stuff and stuff that might be useful to us. And oh, it's like, oh, a glove. And then bang. Because there's probably leather in that glove, right? Which would be useful. And then we're just exploring. Kind of, we're up high here able to look all around and then and I'm thinking hmm, I wonder what's in that box there so let's go and you take a peek inside that kind of pill or that box that concrete um, square chamber and I'm kind of just like looking through here to make sure there's no loot that we missed because you never know there might be hey. something useful okay and here and I'm like oh look an armor workbench and I'm looking and then I round the corner here you pick up some stuff and say ah oh, look at these druggies and then I'm like whoa what's this and then in we go and so here we go I'm like holy crap there's a whole inside here so so thank you everybody for watching um, I think we still got about five minutes to the episode here but yeah, I appreciate you all watching through this. Uh, I apologize for the quality. I don't think there's any way I can get it better. So the only way I can suggest is for you to watch another channel if you want better quality. Otherwise, if you want to watch what I do, just hang around and enjoy. And yeah, and I look forward to seeing you all in the next one. And we'll carry on with this place and explore this place. So have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye.